Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime. We're still working with Punnett squares to understand heredity, um, how certain traits are passed from parents to children or from the parent organism to the offspring. Okay, so uh, this is the fifth video here, so we're really getting a little deeper. It says, the Punnett square shows the genotypes of possible offspring for a heterozygous solid red tulip. So here's one parent. He's heterozygous, meaning that even though this is a solid red tulip, it itself is red, it has um, alleles, which is a gene half, uh, that code for two different things. The big S does code for solid red, and I know that because um, the big letter always wins. So if he looks like a solid red plant, then that's what his big letter codes for, solid red. And it says the little s here codes for something else. Let's keep reading to see what it codes for. It says if the dominant allele, capital S, codes for a solid red color tulip, and the recessive allele, little s, codes for a red and white striped tulip. Okay, what is the percent chance of an offspring with red and white stripes? Okay, so basically we have this parent here who, even though it is solid red, it has genes that code for two different things. It has like um, this gene here sitting in its body that's got um, one half of it that says um, be solid red and the other half of the gene says have red and white stripes and the thing is that this parent could pass on either half of this gene it never passes on a full gene it only passes on half an allele and you get an allele each from each one of the parent organisms and that's how new genes are built so you can see you know there's a 50 50 chance either this organism will pass on the capital s gene uh, allele I should say for solid red or the lowercase allele for striped okay now but we see that our other organism our other so that was our heterozygous red solid tulip but our other uh, parent organism is a homozygous dominant solid red tulip what do I mean homozygous means that both alleles are the same in the gene pair so we can see these are both capital S's homozygous is same allele and then I say it's a homozygous dominant meaning that it only carries that dominant gene of solid red in this case so you're gonna see I have both capitals instead of both lower cases because it's dominant okay so um, the only thing it could possibly pass on since the only allele it has is the capital S is it for sure is going to give its um, all its offspring a dominant S organism. So then what are the, or a dominant S, I'm sorry, allele. So what are the possible gene pairs or um, allele pairs here of the organisms that are offspring, the babies basically? Well, you could get a capital S, capital S. Uh, or if you got a capital S from each one of the parents here, again, we see a capital S, capital S. But in this case, if uh, the one parent gives a lowercase, we could have a capital S, lowercase s, or a capital S, lowercase s. So these are my possible genotypes. But notice what my question asks. It says, what is the percent chance of an offspring with red and white stripes? This question is not asking me about genotypes. Okay, genotypes are the letters. There's the three possible genotypes. But it's asking me about phenotypes. It's asking me what are these organisms actually going to look like? You know, which ones are going to have red and white stripes? Well, we can use the genotypes to think about the phenotypes. So, of course, if the two letters code for the same thing, like they're both capital, then that's what the, the organism will end up being here. So we said capital S was dominant, and it stands for solid red. So this tulip would be solid red because it has both capitals and this one would be solid red but um, a couple video goes videos ago we said that if the two alleles code for different things like you know we said capital S codes for solid red and lowercase s codes for striped 
which one is going to win? The dominant gene, the one with the capital letter always wins. The dominant gene, the one with the capital letter always wins. So this one is going to end up being solid red. Same thing here. We have two different letters. The capital letter, the dominant, always wins, and so this guy will also end up solid red. So it looks like if these two particular tulips have offspring, even though their genotypes might be different, they're all going to have the same phenotype. They're all going to end up solid red. So what is the percent chance of an offspring with red and white stripes? Yeah, these two tulips are not going to have an offspring with red and white stripes. They were all solid red. We got a zero percent chance of red and white stripes because we've got a hundred percent chance of solid red offspring. All right. Now, this isn't always the case. We're going to see some other types of examples, but definitely here, these two tulips have a zero percent chance. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other uh, GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.